we went and negotiated for credit on all our petroleum products. Mm. So we've negotiated to ease the pressure on the dollar. In fact, many importers were finding it difficult to get dollars to import raw materials. We have since sorted out that problem. The liquidity around the dollar market has improved. Okay. We've allowed the, the dollar to find its own level. We are not artificially managing the exchange rate because managing it artificially costs us money. So we have a, an, an issue there. So when I came into office also, I found that we had commitments of 900 billion Kenya shillings on the roads. Yeah, 900 billion. I have tried to work with the uh, various departments, Terra, Kura, Tenha, to try and understand how do we manage this 900 billion. We've tried to cut it down. We've tried to stop some of the roads that have not started. We've died. But we still remain with close to about 680 billion that we have to manage. If I have to complete these roads, I need extra money to do it. And every place I go, I was yesterday in Nyandarwa. Communities, people, leaders tell us, we need a road here, Mr. President, we need a road here. Mm -hmm. We need to finish the Maumau roads. You need to finish this, you need to do this. We need an extra road. They were even telling me there is a road called Kinamba to some place. So that whole equation changed. But what have I done? I have said yes, we're going to increase VAT by 8% for two reasons. Mm -hmm. Number one, because having differential rates, one at 8%, others at 16%, poses a problem, an integrity problem. People use it as a loophole to manipulate numbers, VAT in, VAT out. So the advice that my economic team working with Treasury gave was we must eliminate this loophole that people are exploiting, number one. It has been the Patak Show. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Let's meet in the next video.